All right, here we're going to find the area enclosed by the polar curve, r equals 3 uh, plus sine theta. So again, if you just want to see a quick little sketch of this, um, at the angle 0, sine of 0 is 0, so we would be out at 3. At pi over 2, sine of pi over 2 is 1, so we would have 3 plus 1, so we would be at 4. At uh, pi, sine of pi again is 0, um, so we would be sitting at negative 3. And then at the angle 3 pi over 2, again, um, sine is going to be po uh, positive 1. Um, excuse me, sine is going to be negative 1, so we'll get 3 minus 1, and that'll put us at negative 2. Alrighty, so again, there's our graph. And I think in this case you don't really, probably so much don't need the graph, but just to refresh you, so uh, in this case we would have 1 half the integral from 0 to 2 pi, again, uh, just kind of convincing myself we do have to go, you know, from 0 to 2 pi to trace out this whole, you know, our whole object. So let's see, uh, we've got r squared. Again, r, we said, uh, was just 3 plus sine theta. So we have 3 plus sine theta quantity squared d theta. And now we get to just integrate this lovely function. So, all right, so this is 1 half the integral from 0 to 2 pi. We could distribute this out. We would have a 3 times a 3, which would be a 9. We would have 3 sine theta plus another 3 sine theta. That would give us 6 sine theta. And then we would have uh, sine squared theta, d theta. So I'm going to break this integral up. So we have 1 half. I'm going to do the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 9 plus... 6 sine theta d theta, and then we'll add to that the integral from 0 to 2 pi of sine squared theta d theta. And the only reason I'm breaking them up is because I'm going to have to use um, a trig identity and then a u substitution. The first, uh, the first couple terms here we can just, you know, just integrate no problem. Okay, so remember the uh, identity that we use uh, when we have even powers of, of sine. We end up basically using the fact that sine squared is going to be 1 half 1 minus cosine of 2 theta d theta. All right, so again, just kind of more simplification. Um, so we have 1 half... Um, the integral from 0 to 2 pi, 9 plus 6 sine theta d theta, plus we've got 1 half, well, the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 1 minus cosine of 2 theta. Well, again, all we have to really do is just let u equal 2 theta. Um, I think we've seen this. I'm going to just kind of cut to the chase here. <clears throat> so when we integrate... Um, so the antiderivative of 9 would be 9 theta. We would have a negative 6 cosine theta to get our positive 6 sine theta. We would evaluate that stuff from 0 to 2 pi. Plus we would have 1 half. Um, and then when we integrate, we would get theta. We would have minus sine of 2 theta over 2. And again, that's what we would get after we do our u substitution. Um, all of that would be evaluated likewise from 0 to 2 pi. Um, I think I've got all my brackets closed off. Let's see. I think I've got one too many. Um, or one not enough, rather. So uh, I think that looks okay with all the brackets and things floating around. So let's just compute the values of these things now. Um, I'm just going to do the one in the, this first part. So... 9 theta minus 6 cosine theta, we would get 9 times 2 pi minus 6 times cosine of 2 pi. That would be our upper limit. Minus our lower limit, so we would get 9 times 0 minus 6 times cosine of 0. Well, let's see, that's 18 pi. Um, cosine of 2 pi is going to be 1, so we have minus 6. Let's see, we would have 0. Cosine of 0, again, is 1, so we'll have minus 6. It looks like we'll have negative 6 
plus 6. So to me, it looks like we're going to get 18 pi. So let's see. So we've got 1 half. We said that all of this part is going to work out to be just 18 pi plus 1 half. And then um, I'm going to compute this other part separately as well. So let's see, if we compute theta minus sine of 2 theta over 2 from 2 pi, or from 0 to 2 pi, uh, when we evaluate that, we'll put the 1 half back in in a second. So we would have 2 pi minus sine of 2 times 2 pi, which would be 4 pi over 2. That would be our upper limit. Minus our lower limit, we would get 0 minus sine of 0 over 2. Let's see, this is 2 pi. Sine of 4 pi, um, I guess that's going to just uh, be 0. This is 0. Sine of 0 is 0. So it looks like to me this whole uh, second part, when we evaluate it, we're going to be left with just 2 pi. And now if we keep simplifying, we've got 1 half. We have 18 pi plus another pi. That's going to be 19 pi. So it looks like to me we get 19 over 2 times pi as the area uh, as being the area that's enclosed.